then we are officially a go. There we go. Done and done. I did to turn both my recorders on so we can get all the good incriminating stuff going as we get going. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 525 of Just Joshing. I am your host, Joshua Pantelaresco. I write stuff in podcasts too. Tonight we're doing a little bit of an early drink and draw. My original guest says, I don't know, probably been maybe abducted by aliens, maybe who knows? I do have no idea. But I do know that uh, I was looking for somebody. I'm like, well, Nikki was going to come on my show Friday. And she was already online. So I said, Nikki, could you please come bail my ass out? And Nikki said, why, yes, I will bail your ass out. So this is Nikki. Let's see if I got this right. Van Minen Lane. She is a painter extraordinaire. How you doing? Good. How are you? I am serious as you can tell i take myself very very seriously at all times especially when i'm on the air right <laughs> oh yeah very very serious <laughs> absolutely i am a serious serious son of a bitch just let me tell you i'm just very very ser- serious here no i um you know it, it's funny i'm just i'm just doing a transition here i did the um pardon me as i drink some delicious tea I did, I did the uh, freelancing for about a year, and I'm, I'm not right, and it's been a very, very, very eye-opening journey. Um, I, I, I've learned, hello, 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 I was never alive. Welcome to the show. Right, We're, <laughs> we're going to be drawing some cool stuff. I'm drawing Zelda. Actually, I haven't asked Nikki. Nikki, what are you drawing that I are painting or are we doing? Um, I am working on, a, I guess, a, a window that you can look in on and then there's all the, the lights and stuff. Um, just, I guess I could give you kind of like a sneak peek. Sure. <laughs> sure. So the, um, the taped off pieces will, the, will be the window and the rest will be like black. So you're like looking into a window or... Oh, you're looking inside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it is a nice window. It really, really, really is. I'm going to be drawing Legend of Zelda. I, I very quietly, I very quietly went on Facebook earlier today and said, what's your favorite Zelda game? It's amazing how popular Ocarina of Time is all these years later. I never in a million years thought that like, uh, like a game I played as a kid would still have this wide appeal. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. So, how'd you get into art? How did I get into art? Um, well, I always, you know, I've always loved loved drawing and painting. Um, I did it when I was in elementary school. I did it when I was in high school. Uh, then it dropped it for a number of years, and then. When COVID started up, I was like, well, lost a job. So what what better what? way to spend my time than creating art pieces? So, Yeah, I, I, I ran into your art pieces. Um, let's see, what was it? February, I think it was? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then I, I gave you the, uh, I, I guess, the talk, the come to Jesus meeting with your art. Yes, he did. Yes, he yes. did. <laughs> yes. See, see, your your husband, your husband was the, I. I so I how I know Nikki personally, ladies and gentlemen, is this: when I was working at what would be referred to on the show as the Sparkle Muffin, right? Because so, uh, that's exactly what that place is. Uh, yeah. T- t- tell your husband Sparkle Sparkle for me, will you? He'll, he'll, he'll get sparkle, the joke. Sparkle Sparkle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he'll get the joke. He'll get the joke. <laughs> Um, but, uh, he would, he was such an interesting character because he, he would be up or he'd be down or, and it would be, I would look at him. Why are you so up? Why are you so down, man? I mean, this isn't, I mean, there was some stupid stuff we had to deal with. Like nobody's doing live streams talking. Well, I, I thought this would be great because I love, like, I was never alive. I do live, I do I did been doing interviews for a long time. I was never alive, and I turned it from an audio thing. I have a podcast you can listen to. Here, give me a second here. I'll just give you a, a very quick thing. You can find me pretty much on any platform, right? But mm-hmm. I've been doing a podcast for for years. I, I'm even I'm, 
you know, and this is what I do and this is what I, I actually make happen. And, um, you know, I, uh, I thought, you know, I always wanted to do a talk show. So I figured this would be the, the way to do it, a talk show kind of format. And it occurred to me that, you know, people like Nikki, who are kind of shy, draw really, really well. <laughs> so I every week at the end of the week I would do a drink and draw. Now Nikki was supposed to be on Friday, but things happened and I got to move up. I'll have somebody else on for Friday. I've already kind of made that arrangement. But Nikki's coming in now and we're gonna be be drawing stuff now. So she's gonna do a window into everybody's soul. But as I was saying, yeah, he was always so up and so down. It's like, dude, chill. Every once in a while, though, every once in a while, whatever he carried with him would just like. I, I noticed this with him with me. He hung up with me long enough. He's like, you know, you're you're, you're pretty like you make people feel good. It's like he actually said that to me once. It's like that's good, yeah. It's, that's the that's what I do. It's how I do it. And and honestly, I I thoroughly enjoy like this is why part of the reasons I enjoy interviewing people so much, getting into their story. But that's his story, and that's how I met you. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. Um, but you, okay. So thank you. Thanks. I was never alive. Is I try to keep it as nice and as friendly as possible. The only person making an ass of themselves is me. And frankly, I got an award for it. So I guess I'm doing something right. Um, but, uh, I just see it make, 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 she sees it, sees it very serious, right? The whole thing. Super, super serious. Yeah. But I am going to ask you a serious question there for a minute. Why'd you give up your art? Why'd you stop doing it? Um, why did I stop doing it? Um, I think one of the main reasons was because I really, really tend to express my feelings in my art pieces. Um, so I, I had at that time, I had a lot of dark days, uh, a lot of emotional days. And I thought, if I create art pieces, they're going to look mad. They're going to look sad. And I let it go for a while. Um, and then not realizing how much therapy it actually did for me. Like yeah. how, how therapeutic it actually was for me and how, how much it actually helped me. So... I finally said, well, fine, you know, if I create dark pieces, I'll create dark pieces and, you know, so be it. Well, I mean, look, I don't know about you. Are you a metal fan? Am I a metal fan? Uh, at times, yes. Okay, okay. So, so, so metal, when these metal guys will come up, they'll wear the weirdest face paint. They'll scream to the high heaven sometimes. They'll growl a little bit. They'll sing beautiful songs too. I mean, metal isn't just purely just that animalistic, like catharsis, mosh pits be damned. I mean, I know that's where I, I dug him the most, but uh, I digress. But you come out, you feel really good about yourself. You get a lot of those, like, like it was. It's really healthy to confront your negative feelings in a positive way. A wise person once told me, um, a very wise person told me, you have to be strong enough to let yourself feel whatever it is you, you're feeling. And then you gotta be strong enough to let it go. Yeah, very right. true. Yeah, so it sounds to me when you were younger, that was your struggle. It wasn't so much that you had the feelings you had, it was the outlet to let them go. You did. You were, yeah. you were afraid to let them go. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's exactly what it is. So did you kick yourself a little bit? Um. Yes, and I still do from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, oh well. It, no, it, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm it not is here. What it I'm, is. I'm not. I, I, I'm not here to. Um, what's the term? Uh, pick on you. No, that's not. The, that's not what I'm here. I'm just seeing where you're coming from because I want. I want a sense of where you're going, right? And what you're yeah. doing, and where you want to go from here. So what, so do you have a master plan with your art? Is it just going to be therapy? Are you going to try to make zillions and zillions of dollars at it? Are you, um, you have world domination plans with it? I, I mean, like what do you <laughs> actually want to do with your art? What I want to do with my art is 
I want to make people happy with them. Uh, okay. You know, not necessarily selling them, but I mean, if I, you know, if the, if, if it comes around that they will be sold, then okay, that's, that's a good bonus, but mostly just to bring some happiness to people, you know, just to brighten up their day, just to say, well, pick out a piece, which one would you like? All right. I can respect that. Um, just do me a favor. We had this little talk privately. I'm just going to say it, this part of it out loud. Don't sell what you do short. It takes a lot of work to make a painting. It really, really does. No, that's true. Right. That, 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 so, I mean, it's okay to have an asking price for what you do. And if no one buys it, that's okay, too. I mean, look, there's a joy in the creation of work, too. There's a lot of joy in it. So very true. Yeah, right. So I mean that there's there's so for me like like my little secret little hobby I really dig is cooking. I like to cook. I really just I like there's just something very zen about preparing your own meal. It just it's just like I feel good about myself. And it's not a big thing, it, it's a little thing. But I realize as I get older and wiser, it's really little things that really make it make life worth living. Everything else is Really, I'm not necessary. I totally hear you there. Yeah. I, yeah, very, very, yeah, very so, true. So I can't, I'm going to play an imaginary game with you. Just We're going we're gonna to go down the road of imagination a little bit here. Okay. Just a little bit. So say, say, you start making paintings and people happen to start buying these paintings. And, like, you start getting notoriety. Where would you want to go with it? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go down the happy imagination road just for a minute here. What Where you... would I want to go with it? Yeah. Um, well, there are two ways I would want to go with it. Um, and that's just me going down a very big imagination. But yeah. I would I would love a I would love to have my own, um, like art studio where people can see them you know in the windows or where they can watch me create art pieces and then i think my biggest one would be seeing my pieces up in like a in a museum it doesn't yeah okay it's a good goal it's a good a, goal. It's a big imagination. No, but. It's not the, I, I don't. I, I don't think. It, I don't think it's that big, right? I, I don't think it's that. Like honestly, I don't think that's impossible. Like I can just think. Like I know somebody out there that kind of got their own business and stuff like that. I could definitely put you in contact with them. If nothing else, it may not lead to anything right away. But I mean, she does it all the time with her stuff. She might even be there. There's even um. I don't know how how much it, it's there now. There there's a laundromat, mm -hmm. in, uh, in, on Fourteenth Street down there, and it's by it's by Seventeenth Avenue. Yes, folks, I lived in Calgary. Just so you know, long long time ago, I lived there. But there was a laundromat right around I'd say Fourteenth and I say Fourteenth and Fourteenth. Give about it's luck. I think it's called the Lux Laundromat. They would do art shows in the laundromat. Which really? Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. My sister did a couple shows there, right? Huh. My sister did a couple shows there. So interesting. Yeah, you there. Uh, now, I with the way the world is right this minute, I have no idea if it's even still there. But assuming it is still there, you have a venue right there as well. Like that, you could actually, and that's just thinking in in. So I, I so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you on the air because I'm gonna, because this is my show and I can challenge you on the air. <laughs> Here's the thing. I want I don't you want to make people feel happy, and honestly that's a great laudable goal. I don't want you to change that, but I want you to imagine it's not as hard as you might think to get your work out there where people can see it. Okay. My challenge to you 
In fact, this is one of the things we're doing tonight. We're going to get into the drawing of the stuff, and we're going to shift the cameras over, and we're going to do this. We're going to keep talking a little bit as we work, but um, it's going to be a little bit more like drawing and talking and hanging out. The thing about it is, um, the thing about this is, you can get all of that and still make people happy. In fact, you're in one of the few cities where that opportunity might be more readily available than you realize. I don't want you to imagine those things as big steps. Making your stuff a living is a step. Maybe, of course, the only thing you're doing, that might be a big step. Mm -hmm. Getting your stuff at shows is not impossible. Getting your stuff in the museums is impossible. You just can't be afraid to tell the world how awesome you really are at what you do. You can't be afraid of the no. You're going to get no's. No's, no's are going to happen. No's are, look, you're an artist. An artist, by their very nature, this is a rejection business. We're going to mm -hmm. get told a lot. No, you can't write about that paperclip to world domination story. No, you cannot work for HBO right now. You're not qualified. No, Spotify, thank you very much. Spotify has no open position. By the way, all of these things are things I have gone for in the last year because I just said, fuck it, right? I got skills and see what happens. And if they tell me, no, it's not like it's a terrible thing. Am I quitting? No, I'm, I'm still doing podcasts. I'm still doing my thing. I'm still going forward. I'm still trying to build a following and, and everything to that effect. You're gonna, but you're going to get told no a lot in this life. But that doesn't make you bad. It doesn't make, that doesn't make you, what's the term? It's not a reason to stop. It's so only right. going to make you stronger. Well, may, it might make you stronger, but I think more importantly, more importantly, it starts and ends. It starts and ends with the same thing. You're trying to make people happy doing your stuff, but it starts with yourself. You got to believe in what is actually possible for you. Mm -hmm. and, and what I'm kind of daring you to do, just a little bit is believe in yourself enough that you can get those things to happen. And uh, because they can, and they will, if you let okay. them. If you let Shall them. Shall you accept it? Yes. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's the come to Jesus moment there. Immediately. <laughs> Live on the air. And for anybody else watching or listening down the road, do keep this in mind. All things are truly possible. The worst anyone can really tell you is no. And always remember when someone does tell you no, that doesn't really mean much. You didn't have it. You didn't have it to begin with. Yeah. So you haven't really lost anything with the no either. Right? Very true. Yeah. So. Yeah. Are you ready to drop? I'm ready. Let's do All it. Right. All right. So we're going to shift your camera over so because she's going to. She's better at this than I am, ladies and gentlemen. But don't worry, you will see my stuff as well throughout. So what we're going to do here is we're going to shift the camera, go, whoop, and then we're going to go, whoop, ha ha, and I'm going to be here. Do, 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 do. So I'm drawing Link playing his ocarina tonight. Hmm. Ocarina. Yeah, the little, the little flutey plays. Yum. That sounds tasty. <laughs> Never heard a flute a flute described as tasty before, but cool nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I'm going to ask you another evilly hard question here. Are you ready? Okay, go for it. What's your favorite thing to draw? Oh, oh my I goodness. Told yeah, I told you. It's um, <laughs> that's, that's a good question. Um. I would have to say landscapes. 
Why landscapes? Um, if you don't have a good answer, don't don't be shit, like don't worry about it. But if you have an answer, oh. actually, yeah, no, I'm I'm not entirely sure how to answer that one. I would well, want to well, say. Well, I would want to say because of the different um, colors and shadings you could use for the landscapes, um, that is one of the like one of the things I like, um, and I would want to say also creating clouds and skies, that kind of stuff, just. Uh, there's some uh, round clouds and skies and that kind of stuff. That stuff's cool. It can be cool. Yeah. So, those are usually two things that I really like to draw. Um, this is definitely uh, a different type of uh, technique that I'm using right now. Um, and I have to say that I'm actually quite enjoying this. <laughs> so. Learning something? Are you learning something new and wonderful doing it? Well, it just working with the tape and stuff. Uh, that is a new technique that I use. Um, and the pastels, I haven't worked with those in a very long time. So it's it's kind of fun to re, re-experiment with them and see what I can create with them. And... Uh, I use tissues or Kleenexes as well to blend the colors in better. So, there. I'm getting better at this drawing thing. It's been a slow yeah. process, but I've actually, I, I almost, I, I'm not, I'm not what I would call consciously confident yet. Far a long, long way from that. But I almost feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit now. Well, that's good. Yeah, because yeah, your drawings are looking better and better. I must say, I like them a lot. That's cool. Well, thank you. You are. I've, very sold, well. I've sold two of them so far. Good. Nice. Yeah. That's why I'm challenging you so hard. You're better at it than I am. Oh, hey, hey! Don't say that. No, 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 no! I can't sit there. Look, it's okay. I can sit. <laughs> oh, I can right! Say it that. is your show. Okay, okay. It's okay. <laughs> Listen, I li- listen. I ha- I'll have you know, my sister crushes my ego on a regular basis. It builds character. Okay, you feel that's Aww. why I tell myself. That's why I tell myself sometimes. Anyway, uh, but uh, uh. but uh, no, in all seriousness, like you work. You, I mean, you have a lot of practice at this. I'm just. This is my third. This is going into my third month, fourth month of drawing. That's it. Well, so. What made you start drawing? What what was it that you really liked about it? So I want to get I want to do comic books. Oh yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so I want to do comic books, but I also had to get over some stuff too, and mm-hmm. I got the feeling you you, you you went through something similar too, because one of the hardest things you got to admit, like it takes a certain audacity to go to someone. Hey, listen. My work is good enough to be paid for. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, uh, it's it is audacious. Like let's 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 be honest here. We are, mm-hmm. right? There's a certain like, oh, okay. Oh, very true. Yeah, right. It takes a certain audacity to do that. But wow, I have to admit, I've come, I have come a long way. Yes, and you're feel- right. You know, at some point, you know, you do have to say what you have to say. You got to put your foot down and basically say, "Hey, listen." I'm worth and- it. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Right? Yes, if you have to. If you don't, if you don't, um, you know, you'll always. I always kind of wonder here. Wow, that's actually wow. I, I, this might be one of the better things I've ever done. Honestly, this is scary. I'm almost like I'm good at this. Almost. <laughs> almost. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yeah, that's good. 
it takes some confidence to be self-deprecating. It really does. Oh, yes, yeah. it does. Okay. okay, Kleenex. Mm -hmm. The ocarina is kind of weird. Or maybe it's just that simple. Wow. Okay, let's see what we got here in terms of all oh, impressive pens and stuff. There. There. Yeah. Oh. But no, it's like at some point you just go. What if I'm not good? Well, it's something in the world if you're not good. The important thing, when you do any kind of art, doesn't matter what it is, can you enjoy it? Can you have fun with it? Can you learn from it? Exactly. That's what matters most. So, so I'm going to ask you another tough question again. Are you ready for another tough question? Go for it. Hit me. I, 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 don't want, I don't want to hit you. You'll beat me up. You're tougher than I am. Oh, come on now. That's true. <laughs> it's true. It's okay. True. Go for it. All right. Hit me. No, hit, I, me. Hit, me. <laughs> hit me as hard as you can. And here's the question. So what are you trying to say with your art? Like what what is, am like I you, trying you, to say with my art? Oh boy! I have a, I, I see. I have a belief, and this is my belief. This is this is just my belief, mind you. But I think it's a. I don't think it's entirely invalid, and that's and that's this. Right? We all have a tendency to put ourselves into everything we do, whether we consciously admit this or not. Right? Mm -hmm. Now the other way, and that's okay. That's a challenge. But if you go like this. So what I've learned is it's not bad for a first time, I think. But I can even do it. What I've learned is I what I work on is not that different than the guy that's working on it. Right? I'm mm -hmm. not I'm not going out of I'm not being that different of a person. No. Nope. When I write my stories, the things I'm saying in my stories are things I care about. When I'm drawing pictures, things I care about come out in my pictures. Now, I mean, I have a fully conscious perspective of what that is fully yet because I'm still learning here. I haven't mastered controlling the expression yet, but the idea is the same nonetheless. And, um, mm -hmm. So, well, so what do you say? Like you like you you're you're looking to find happiness. So why does happiness matter so much to you? What are you trying to say? Yeah, that is a let's see, that is a good question. Um. I guess happiness, what I'm trying to say with that is, you know, try to find joys in the little things in in life. You know, your day might have been rough. It might have been hard and difficult. Um, but there must have been one positive thing that happened in that day. And instead of focusing on the negatives that we tend to do so often, we should focus more on the positive things that do happen in our life and less on the negative things. I tend to agree with that. 
Well, see, I, I have this whole concept. I am too old to be a uh, uh, a cynic, you know, or a realist. You want to know why? Why? Because I'm too old. To, uh, I, I, I'm I'm too old to figure out how the world works. I I don't under, I I I I. I uh, I don't know how the I don't know what's real. I'm, I'm the older I get, the less sure of it I am. Actually, kind of makes uh, it kind of makes me go like, well, I don't have a clue. So I might as well just be positive, because to me, I may not know how the world works, and I'm sure there are people smarter than I that will teach me how the world works or think they know how the world works, and that's great and wonderful and and. Phenomenal! You you have the answers. I do not. That's that's terrific. But but if I'm being honest, I I I I, I almost don't believe you because from what I can tell and what I've seen, um, you know, we don't really see all that much. So how can you tell me what's Real, just based on, just based on that. Rather, it feels to me that whatever real is, I don't think I drew. I don't think I drew a link. I came close though. I came very, very close. I'll show you in just a second what I did. I, I remember. So, I just choose to try to bring out the positive in people for one very simple reason. Because I may not know how the world actually works and maybe it, and maybe that's a good thing because i certainly the world is certainly bigger than i am but but uh i'd rather be positive because i can do something with positivity I move forward with positivity I'm cynical. If I think I know how the world works, more often than not, I'm just going to talk myself out of good things. Because there's lots of potential for good things around you. You know what I mean? So that's me. That's why I'm I'm an optimist because, frankly, I may not know how the world works, but optimism tends to make the world a better place than than uh than the negative so that's me huh oh wow okay she come back in nikki got disconnected here be a moment here ladies and gentlemen while we try to figure that out but in the meantime i'll show you what i've been working on which that was my first attempt at a link. Link playing an ocarina. It's not quite a link because I, I the hat is not quite there. But uh, yeah, one second there. So you can see right here. This is what I've drawn in the last little bit. I hope you guys like it. Um, Having a technical difficulties here. Don't worry, we'll take that a minute. But anyone in the anyone in here in the audience, if you got a question while while we wait, go feel free to ask. Also, what do you think? Aha! I'm kind of proud of this. It's a nice little treat there. So got little things I can do to make it better. Uh, 
see what I can do to help her come back. So, I'll show you what I mean. I'll just show you guys this while we're waiting here. So, my Legend of Zelda thing was based a little bit off of this. This was my first attempt. Didn't quite get it right. The hair needs to be worked on. It's the hair I was where I messed up. It's the depth there. But it's not too bad. I, added, I changed the scene background scenery a little bit. But the important thing was to kind of get the sense of Legend of Zelda, Ocarina. Kind of accurate, kind of right. There she is. Hey, hello. So what happened? It it lost connection all of the sudden. Ah. Oh, I don't so know here, why. Here, while we do that, while we do that little thing, before we go back to that, you want to see something real quick? Sure. What do you think? Uh, uh, oh, that looks good. That's looking really good. That is, I'm I liking it. Yeah, I'm liking I it really much. It's looking really good. Yeah, well, thank you. I tried. You're I tried. Welcome. Um, uh, didn't quite get his hair right, but that was my first shot at, at him. So that's awesome, dude. Yeah. I almost know what I'm doing. Almost. There. I'm gonna try number two here. Link. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, is for my thing. So, what I said before you disappear is, I don't know what real is. Exactly. So, I might as well just try to be good. Because it feels like that's the right, that's the better thing to do. But, what do I know? I'm, I make an ass of myself on the air on a regular basis. And she got disconnected again. Hi. Hi. You hit a button, I, didn't you? No, it reloaded. It, it said it had an issue. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully now we're good. Okay, yeah. It's like, did you disappear on me again? Did you just disappear? It's like, yeah. There. So I'll say this. I'll, I'll try this for a third time. Hopefully you don't okay. disappear on me. On second here. One second. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Eh. Looks like I screwed up. <laughs> I screwed up. Uh oh. I didn't. There you go. Okay. So, there you go. We have. Uh, it looks like I fixed my issue there. Looks like I'm going to get my guest tomorrow. It happens. No, I screwed up. Looks like I screwed up and she screwed up. It's like, oh, okay. Punch your link and oh, I thought it was then and yeah. Organization no so oh, she vanished again. She vanished again. Yeah, hold on a second here. Do, 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 do. The Age of Wonders, ladies and gentlemen. We have technical difficulties. So our...
there. It just wants to, it just wants to disappear on us there. Yeah, it does for some reason. It's okay. We have gremlins or something. Or something. Or ghosts yeah. or I don't know. Do you believe in ghosts and stuff? Ah, uh, kind of, sort of, but not really. Especially kind of when I'm home alone. Then I'll believe in them. I'll be like, ah! <laughs> what about you? Uh, absolutely. There's, it's a... Look, the world is bigger than I am. I have no... I have no idea. I have no idea what is real. Right. So, why, why pretend I know what's real? Chances are I really don't. And, okay. and, oops. and because I really don't know what's real, anything can be possible. So why, like why, um, like, that doesn't mean, I mean, once upon a time, I, I mean, I could have swore I've seen the UFO. I mean, I remember when I was actually in Windsor, Ontario, where I am right now is where I, I thought I saw a, a UFO. And, uh, oh, so, I, mean, I didn't not, believe that. Yeah. You believe, in UFO, you believe in UFOs, but not ghosts? Well, I guess if I believe in UFOs, I believe in ghosts, too. No, and that's, I, hey man, I mean, you, you, you're a human being. You can be as contrary as you want to be. Like you totally, totally. Uh, yeah, the world is bigger than us. Sure. Yeah, that's my that's my attitude. I mean, if you got you got your own beliefs. I mean, don't be afraid to sit there. I mean, if you don't believe, if you don't believe that there are ghosts, I'm, 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 I'm there. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is some ghost forms out there. Definitely. Okay. You know, there's well, there's gotta be. I, yeah. Okay. So I'm not gonna hold it against you if you don't believe there's no ghost. Oh no no no. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. Right. I I just I just I've <laughs> bigger than I am. And I, I don't pretend to know that I have the answers. I'm not, I'm not that smart. I'm sure there are smarter people than me that will tell me, hey, this is how the world works. I'm like, that's nice. You know, that's yeah, that's nice. All the answers <laughs> to life's questions, I certainly don't. And besides, one of the things I've learned in this life is you let yourself be surprised what you think is impossible suddenly you find yourself in places you never thought you'd end up so i mean it's not i'm giving him like the biggest feet ever this is the second one here i'm doing his feet are just ginormous Yeah, you know, just so my 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 link, ladies and gentlemen, is going to have like the biggest feet ever. Like just so you know, clown shoes link. So I'm gonna call this one, I think. And yoink, yoink. I'm back. I see that. Ghost did it. I ghost swear. Did it. You want to name the ghost? You want to give the gar ghost a name? Okay. Well, somebody's got to. Okay, so what? You, come on, come up with a good name. Somebody's got to come up with a good name. Uh, I, I'm amazing to you. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm lazy. Yeah, I, I'm putting. I'm giving you that responsibility because I feel you can. You can handle it. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you got the ability to make it happen. Wi-Fi thief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Attacking you too, so I mean at least you can do is name it. Make it a name. Call it okay. like There we go. 
So you, you want to hear? You know, that's, that's not possibly blasphemous to somebody, but this is this is. You want to know the best evidence I have that there is a God, honestly, that Jesus might be God? Okay, tell me. Because everybody, when they swear, they they invoke His name. Yeah, very true, right? I mean, I mean, seriously. If you, if you, if you guys want to be honest with yourselves, I mean, we could. We, I mean, it doesn't sound sacrilegious here. We don't say fucking Buddha. We don't say. We don't say. You know. Anything about Muhammad? We'd say none of those things. Whenever things go wrong, we say Jesus Christ. Yeah, right? very true. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, we maybe, do. That's right. We may not believe in it, but we certainly curse. We certainly curse like they're real. So I mean, it's one of those things yeah. where I, I, uh, I always have a little bit of fun. Right. The world is the world. Our world is a strangely insane place, and I just. That can't laugh at the absurdity. I don't know what place like, there's. There's no hope for us all. I almost got him right. Up. I gave him too much hair. I gave him a little too much hair. Just a little bit. That's right. Just oh, a little. just a little. All right. So how has your art helped you with your confidence? A, a lot. Uh, immensely. Um, at this point, I literally, if I have a piece now and I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not, I will continue to work on it till it's finished. Whereas before, if I didn't like it, I would start over. Whereas now it's like, well, let's see how it turns out. Um, and it's made me less of a, less, but also more of a critic. As in less of a critic, uh, less negative as a critic, but more positive as a critic as well, if that makes any sense. So let's see if I can elaborate for you just a little bit on this bad boy. Um, you have a, you, you would let perfection get in the way of you actually even trying to attempt to work. Cause there's no way you could achieve the perfection. So why even try? Exactly. Right. Now you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm just going to do it. And then there are ways you, I mean, you, you always get the exactly what you want. And that's fine because you're not going to get exactly what you want uh, always. But, but, there we go. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to show you link number two with even more hair in about two minutes. No, no, no background scenes or anything like that. Not with this one. This one, this one requires um, Oh, right there. There is my magic pen. I just want to remember where I put that. There. Can't help it. Love Legend of Zelda theme song, guys. I'll hold it again. <laughs> right in the zone. Absolutely. That's why we do this. Also, right. this is a slightly more. I figured this environment would be slightly more comfortable for you than, say, a, tradi a more traditional interview, although I am still kind of interviewing you. You sure are. Yeah. But not to the same degree that I do some some of my other episodes. Hey, you could have. Oh, all right. You can always interview me a second time. Exactly. I feel you. I feel. I feel you enjoyed this simplicity, though. It's a lot of fun. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um. There. You understand now why I do it. Yes, I do. There. 
Mm -hmm. Quick at the arm, right? But that's okay. That is. But yeah, this, this is definitely, definitely been fun to do and fun to do. Who doesn't like Blink? Right? Um, there are things in the universe everybody likes. Ice cream, for example. Who doesn't like ice cream? Ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> you no, know, greatest thing ever. The greatest thing ever as a kid was the ice cream truck. That's right? like best. <laughs> yep. yep. So very, very true. You still run to the ice cream truck? I'll, I'll confess here. I do. It's all good. Yeah. I so say you mummy, me, 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 me. <laughs> oh boy. I know. And I'm the adult here. It's my show. It's my show. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, at least you keep it interesting. That's it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, just be yourself and it, and it all magically works out. Would you like to see version two? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the camera here. Do, do, do. Actually, I did the link better. He's got more hair. Uh, move it up a little more. That's looking good. I like it. That is there so cool. Yeah. Do, do, do. I want to play Ocarina of Time now. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah. There. Oh, wonderful, wonderful thing. So how's yours coming? Uh, well, one's done already. I'm working on the second one now. Why don't you show the world the second, the, the first one? Show the world. Go the world. <laughs> okay, hold on. Because this is the time to do it. Oops. So that's the first one. Okay, in, in the, that's right. Money shot. It's the windows of the soul, ladies and gentlemen. So why are those colors? Ah. Uh, why those colors? Um. Well, <laughs> I've always really liked yellow and red and orange. Um. And purple, that, it, it seemed like a nice, calming color to use. Um, so some calming colors and some uh, happy, bright colors. Ah. And this one. And that one, sweet. Ouch. Uh, this one. There. Because uh, I need you in there, too. There. Yeah. Any other burning questions? Red moment. Not, uh, not, not, no burning questions. Or, We're not uh, burning up my soul. I mean, we, 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 we were sacrilegious. We talked about the importance of the ice cream. Chuck, <laughs> I mean, oh, in fact, boy. that's probably what I'm going to do next. It's going to be my last drink and drop for the night, and then we'll get to, and then we'll wrap up by letting people can plug where your stuff is at. And if you want to buy it, yeah. buy it. Because let's let's let let's make it let's make it about. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's ama it's amazing that the SEO picks up the very first thing with ice cream trucks for sale. Right. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, I'm gonna go with 
I don't have colors to play with here, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go with like a very very basic. That's right, guys. I'm doing an ice cream truck here for the remainder of the evening. Here, that's gonna be my it'll be my third and final drink and draw. She disappeared yet again. So note to self: computers are evil light bulbs. On, on. We are talking like this. Off. We are not. And here we go. She's going to come back on, going like, grrr. But we'll just hold on a second while she comes back on. And then we'll come to, like, our final round here and then wrap this up. But in the meantime... Let's see what we can talk about here. Um, my next book is called Lights Out. I'm drawing it. That's why the reason one of the reasons I'm drawing uh, the Legend of Zelda stuff tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is because I'm getting myself kind of into a little thing because I'm going to be doing like a Twitch stream using a Zelda kind of homage. It will be, it will be, it'll be uh, Link, but it won't be Link, you know, underneath for legal reasons. But it's going to be a Twitch stream uh, for the first part of the comic or the comic novel. But I'm going to be drawing pieces of it like a night light novel. I think Hugo Cabret by um, by Zelzniak. It's that's kind of what I'm going for. That's the vibe I'm going for. So I'm getting myself some practice by getting into the the mode for the mode for Zelda or Le Link Link uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. It's like the most popular game. Um, I, when I told my Facebook friends, so that's the one I went with. And that's what I'm working on. That's why you're seeing me playing with Legend of Zelda and just doing different things there. And but also Link's just a cool character. I mean, who doesn't love Link? And uh, I have no idea what's happening to her. So I want to see if Mickey's still there. Let's see if she's still there. If not, I'll wrap the show up. I'll wrap it up. I'll do and just kind of go with it. I have a guest tomorrow, Jill Maria Robinson's Thursday. Friday is an, another drink and draw featuring the art bar, Cherry O. Saturday, I'm doing two interviews. Um, Ricky Avalon and Michael Odin. One earlier in the day, one later in the day. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty cool, great little thing here happening. Um, but in the meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm just working on my story. Uh, I'm hoping to finish all the dialogue to lights out part one tonight because it's almost entirely like a Twitch stream like this with comments. I mean, and, and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of the plan. So, hey, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You keep you, you keep getting abducted. I think I think I think they're telling us to like hurry this up, wrap this up. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna work out <laughs> when you how close are you to finishing your second one? I'm uh pretty close actually. I'm actually Okay. Yeah. So then me doing an ice cream truck, I'll let you finish it. You're gonna show off the world. You're gonna, we're gonna plug we're gonna plug your stuff. Okay. It's awesome and where you can find you. And we'll call it, because it seems to me like it, like you keep getting abducted. So yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, you keep getting, you're popular and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll talk on Facebook afterwards. Maybe I can give you some help on some of your goals, if nothing else. Um, see if I can help you that way. Um, but uh, no, it's like it sounds to me like you're, you're like it's this is a new beginning for you. Um, it definitely is, yeah. Yeah. And it also sounds like... I could be wrong on this. If I'm wrong, let me know. Even though you're willing to do other things, this is what you want to do. You're absolutely right. <laughs> So I'm gonna ask a hard question. If you can't answer, don't worry about it. This, like, okay. There's no wrong answer. So here's the hard question. So if this is what you want to do, 
why are you trying to talk in yourself into, eh, if people buy it, that's okay. Um, that is a really good question. Um, maybe, be, I, and I think the biggest reason is because I am very self-conscious. Um, I think my, my, my work looks good, but who knows, maybe somebody else might think differently. So, um, but w one thing I've learned both during this talk with you is literally not to be afraid and to basically make the steps because there's only one way to find out. Well, more than that. So we're going to go, we're going to go with the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. Okay. Okay. Now I know this is hard for you to believe. But do you believe that there's people that don't like this podcast that they absolutely cannot stand it? There probably are people out there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they have poor, poor taste, but I mean, they, they, they don't like this show. They don't like mm -hmm. that. I'm just talking about this instead of promoting specific story speeds or story structure. Cause I, I, I don't care. And so I don't even know most people. Right. But this is my assumption. I'm making an assumption here, mm -hmm. but the truth of the matter is, I mean, all joking aside, I'm going to be more, I'm going to be disliked. I'm going to be shunned by a lot of people because I'm, I have the audacity to come out here and say, look, what I do is worth money. That's mm -hmm. audacity. There's an audacity to that, right? Mm -hmm. But the same token, it's not going to be worth money for everybody. But that's true with everything, right? I mean, that's true with absolutely everything. There, there are things people are willing to pay a top dollar for. And for everybody, that's a different thing, a different value system. It's just it's how the world works. Mm -hmm. There are going to be some people out there that aren't going to like your work, no matter how amazing it is. And then there are some people that are going to look at your work and say it's the most incredible thing they've ever seen. It hits, touches them in a way that they never imagined. And that's going to be a wonderful thing when you experience that if you haven't already. Um, and then there's going to be that gap in the middle. Now, maybe you don't make a living doing this. Possible. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that this is an easy road. It's not. You're going to get a lot of no's. Lots of no's. <coughs> yeah. The rejection business. That's it. The business is of no. But you will get yeses if you go out there and make an effort doing it. And if you like yourself, you'll go down a very wonderful journey and you will learn all kinds of things doing it. So your husband, we mentioned him at the very beginning. He'll tell you this too. I, the whole time I was there, I was always talking about leaving pure later, always. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I didn't hate the company, but it wasn't going to be for me the rest of my life, and I knew it. I'm sure there are times he probably told you, he probably would tell you he didn't believe it. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. But I'm not there anymore. No. And I'm never going to come back because it was time for me to go. I knew it was time for me to go. And I made the, I made the leap to do it. Mm -hmm. Right? I worked towards that. I started at the very beginning and I made it happen inch by inch. Some of uh, some, and there's been a lot of people, and, and, and uh, but that took belief in myself to do it. And sometimes it's going to be very hard and it's easy to be discouraged when it gets very hard. But the truth of the matter is, um, there's always opportunities in abundance for even for this. Give yourself a chance to hear those yeses and let them take you where they're going to take you. And if it doesn't work out, and you said, you know what? I did absolutely everything I could. I knew how. I tried. I gave it my best. I gave it to a certain amount of time. It just didn't work. Not as I imagined it. Okay. And you do what you want. Um, but 
give yourself that opportunity to stay and to find out. And if it doesn't work out, you'll be happier you did it. Right. No, exactly. I I 100% agree with that. So go for it. And let me know where you go and how you go and, and, and don't be afraid to advertise yourself. So are you done? Are you done your are you done your another one? Uh yeah, well, pretty much. Um cool. so, so show people to the world why you're awesome. Come on. Um well the tape still needs to be removed and then I gotta call it the rest of that in, but that's the, yeah, yeah. Oops. the okay. beginning Oops. of it. <laughs> Come on in. So yeah. So no, it's 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 a lot of fun and learning new techniques and stuff too. Mm-hmm. Which is always, which is always, which is always the thing. So is that one. So which one do you like better, the second one or the first one? The first one. Why? Ah, uh, the color combination. I like the color combination better in the first one than I do in the second one. But yeah, well. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I do too. I have a theory as to why I enjoy it. It's my theory. It's not necessarily yours. There's more de- There's more contrast in the first one than there is in the second one. The second one is just very, there's nothing wrong with being Bob Ross, by the way. But for the second one feels very Bob Ross. And the first one. Yeah, very, right. <laughs> you know, very good at this photo. And don't worry, there are no accidents. It's just like so pleasant surprises. <laughs> but Bob Ross was a good man. He did, he did his thing. That all said, that all said, I think we have an interview here. What do you think, Nikki? I really, really liked it. It was really, uh, I want to do it again. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Down the road we will. Sure. Down the road we shall. How about give yourself a little bit more time to, to, to build your confidence up and put yourself out there. We'll all... When this is over officially, we'll keep talking for a bit because I got to help you out. But beyond that, I think we have an interview. So tell tell people who you are, what you do, and how people can find you. Um. Well, hi everybody. I'm Nikki. Um. What do I do? I do um. Well, all kinds of art projects, mostly with uh, well pastels mainly and. Um, my other medium is uh, working with uh, with oils, uh, like for fountain pens. Um, my website, bear with me for a second, because I haven't had that website for that long, so I have to go check and see what it is again. Oh. Um, but that's where most of my creations are on is uh, is on that website. Um, oh. and yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh. So the website, you can find me by uh, finding me on Facebook uh, under Creations by Nikki Fu, and that's all one word, dot Nick- wordpress.com. So creations by Nikki Fu. F you. <laughs> here, I can type it in here. Creations by Nikki, as in Nikki, F U dot WordPress dot com. Like this? Huh. Like that? That's it. Okay. Okay. Creations by Nikki Foo dot WordPress dot com. If anyone wants to check out her work, you can do so. As for me, guys, if I, this is the end of this week, the day's drink and draw. I got more guests coming up this week. Uh, tomorrow night, 6 p.m., got a really wonderful guest, Eastern Time. I got a really fun guest coming in, and then the day after, I got another one. But, but in the meantime, if you want to subscribe to the podcast or do things for the podcast, there's the stream, Just Josh and Podcast. Click the follow button. I'm on YouTube as Joshua Pentelaresco. Hit the like and subscribe and enable notifications there. Um, or you can listen to my podcast, Just Joshing, which is available everywhere, which is the, the links already in the comments. Stay inspired, keep shining in the dark. See you guys tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>